All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back. It is that time of the week again for Zer's location. This week, you guys are going to be heading on down to the EDZ. Once you're in the EDZ, head on down to Winding Cove. Once you're here, jump on your Sparrow and head straight across the map. Over to the right-hand side, you'll see a road. Head on up there and directly to the left-hand side. You'll see another little path that goes up into the back. Jump up here into the cave and the cave basically just wraps around and you'll come out at Zer. So this week, as always, Zer has his exotic engram you guys can purchase for 97 legendary shards or one exotic cipher. Um, so that's why I always suggest to complete that Xenology quest throughout the week. Then you can use it the following. Uh, the exotic weapon for this week, we've got the Lord of Wolves shotgun. The uh, main perk on the Lord of Ro uh, Lord of Wolves is Shrapnel Launcher, so fires a powerful short-range burst of solar damage. Now, this thing actually kind of rocks in PvP, and honestly is fairly decent um, in PvE as well. I've seen a lot of people using it. Um, even to do boss damage, it's it's quite uh, decent. Uh, the other perks that we've got on the Lord of Wolves is Composite Stock, uh, Release the Wolves. So uh, pressing R, your long press button might be on controller, it'll be B, uh, greatly increases the rate of fire uh, and shoots in full auto. So definitely not too bad. Uh, we've also got Extended Mag as well as Chambered Compensator. Uh, moving on to the exotic armor set for the Hunter this week, we've got the Lucky Raspberry Chest Armor. Uh, take a look at the main perk on it. So the main perk is uh, Probability Matrix. Uh, so this increases the chaining uh, capabilities of Arc Bolt Grenade and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage. Um, a full chain always recharges. So you're going to get that uh, arc grenade, arc bolt grenade back every time that you do that, that chaining effect if you're throwing it into a group of adds. So definitely not too terribly bad of a, of a uh, exotic for the hunter. Uh, moving on over to the Titan this week, we've got the Crest of Alpha, Alpha Lupi. Uh, take a look at the main perk on it. So the main perk is Survival Well. Uh, so generates an additional orb of power from supers uh, and a healing pulse when Barricade is active. So honestly, like I, I to me, this could actually have quite a few benefits um, seeing that this season is, or, you know, based around the orbs of power um, and picking them up and uh, getting those uh, those armor stacks. So definitely be picking these up. And if you guys don't have any of these, like I said, pick them up, add them to your loot pool. Um, they'll give give you that chance to get them a drop at a different, uh, different perks or, or sorry, different stats. And moving on over to the Warlock this week, we're rolling with the Geomag Stabilizer Leg Armor. Take a look, main, uh, look at the main perk on it. So the main perk is close enough. So damaging targets with Chaos Reach extends its duration. So you pop that super, you're able to do a bunch of ad clear, and you're getting that a little bit extended time, so you'll be able to clear that area a whole lot easier. Definitely be picking these up as well. Uh, moving on over to the legendary uh, weapons that we've got on the go this week, we've got the uh, Fire Fright Auto Rifle rolling with uh, Fragile Focus and Surrounded, uh, the Death Adder SMG rolling with Feeding Frenzy, as well as quick draw uh the aikilos submachine gun rolling with killing wind and tap the trigger uh judgment of kalgaroth glaive rolling with a movable object and uh close to melee uh deafening whisper grenade launcher this is also the one that i was pointing out with it is a uh, wave frame 
uh, grenade launcher and it is rolling with the killing wind and threat detector uh, we've also got the blast but two uh, grenade launcher uh, rolling with threat detector as well as wellspring and the quick fang sword with sword master's guard and tireless blade so like i said my perk or my uh pick out of these would probably be the deafening whisper uh, moving on down to the armor set this week for the hunter uh, we're rolling with the pathfinder armor set i took a look at all of these and uh, the one that stuck out to me was definitely with that 26 mobility uh if you're looking to lean into that mobility stat depending on how you have your build for your uh character uh, definitely be picking these up 26 isn't too bad at all as well another one to point out is with this pathfinder's helmet if you haven't picked this up or uh you haven't got it from anything else definitely pick this up and transmog it uh you can actually put some different shaders on this such as let's take a quick look see if i can find it here uh where is it I don't know if I'll find it. Anyways, if you put photo finish uh, on this, it will actually glow different uh, different colors. Will it do it with Gambit Jade Stone? Well, yeah, there you go. So you actually get that little bit of glow with the Gambit Jade Stone. Um, but with photo finish, it will actually change multiple different colors. It's kind of cool. Not too many helmets have that effect. And uh, moving on over to the DMT, the Dead Man's Tail Scout Rifle this week, we are rolling with Outlaw. So the main perk on the DMT is Cranial Spike. So Chaining Precision hits Grant's bonus target acquisition and range. Uh, the other perks that we got this week is the Composite Stock. Like I said, Outlaw, uh, Flared Magwell, as well as Corkscrew Rifling. Uh, moving on to the Hawk Moon this week, we're rolling with Range Finder. Uh, so if you want to get nice and close uh, in that ADSing, um, get those headshots off, definitely be picking this up. So the main perk on the Hawk Moon is Paracausal Shot. So final blows and precision hits with the Hawk Moon Grand stacks of Paracausal Charge. Uh, the final round in the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks and then stowing the Hawk Moon on the final round removes that bonus. So if you do have those stacks of Paracausal Shot, definitely be using them before you're switching to your other weapons. Um, like I said, we've also got uh, Range Finder, uh, Alloy, magazine and arrowhead break and like i pointed out uh definitely be picking up your xenology quest and completing it throughout the week whether you're doing strikes uh you're in pvp or even in gambit you can get that completed uh through doing 21 different matches of uh one of the above mentioned activities so everybody thank you very very much for checking out the video it is greatly greatly appreciated if you can do me that favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment and uh come check us out live at twitch.tv forward slash starset 7 gaming and until next week everybody be safe out there and take care